is good everybody my paper moon fam it's your boy paper sin aka the hokage of the village hidden in that loud you know what i'm saying but um i got another reaction video for you you know you feel me but i mean so recently ashton kutcher and mila mila, mila kunas mila kunas kutcher mila mila kutcher Ash, Ashton Kutcher's wife, formerly known as Mila Kunis, yeah, we'll go with that. Has have come? They have come under fire for their actions in writing a hmm, a character profile type of thing that they had to send in to court. A character profile for uh. What's his name again? Hyde, the guy that played in uh, played as Hyde in uh, that '70s show, Danny Masterson. That's his name. That's his name. They they've come under fire for for their character reports on Danny Masterson, saying that well, if you didn't know, he has he's he's getting ready to go to 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 court for SA allegations, you know, things like that. You know, R word allegations, you know what I'm saying? Like things like that. He's going he's going to court for that and his and his lawyer is requesting that Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, who were co stars on that seventies show, write character profiles of Danny Masterson. And uh they did. They they wrote their character profiles, I'm guessing from their perspective. Um, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe they were just trying to be nice. I don't know. But they wrote their character profiles saying that he was a good guy. He wouldn't do anything like that. And they've come under fire for their, you know, that got leaked, basically. They came up and then and that got leaked. And then they came under fire for what for their thoughts or their character profile, what they wrote as the character profile for Danny Masterson, who's accused of doing all those things. Obviously, like. I wasn't sure at first if, if like they were just writing those things because the judge had said, hey, you may not know what he's being charged with, but we need you to write character profiles on this guy. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Blah, 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 blah. But that's how, that's how I originally thought. But if they, were, if, they were, if they were saying he wouldn't do this type of thing, he's not the type of person to, to do this, then they knew what he was under fire for, what he was going to court for. They knew he was being accused of SA allegations as well as R allegations and things like that. So, yeah, there's some more news about that. Then we're gonna react to it. The the art the uh, article, <laughs> the video is by Cre create create X, and it's titled "That 70s Show." Well, if this is in case you don't know who Hyde is, this is Hyde. But this is not the video that we're gonna react to. I'm just gonna show you a clip real quick. <laughs> Hell, that's Danny Matheson. Oh, it's Congress. <laughs> we passed a secret law to put backward messages in our records, man. <laughs> they wanna kill rock and roll because they know what makes us horny, man. I'll be in the basement. No, you sit. <laughs> oh, sure, when things get ugly, suddenly I'm family. <laughs> Not to me, freak. You are so going to end up in porno. Good morning, class. Well, good morning, orphan. Good morning. That's all you got? Oh, whore. <laughs> you know, Foreman, you should write a book. Things what my father fuck? threatened to put in my ass. What the fuck? Chapter one, his foot. I'd buy that. <laughs> Fred, you're gonna let Foreman get away with that, man? All right, so that's, that's Danny Masterson and that 70s show. His character's name was Hyde. Um, he just felt you. He is going to court for the, the accusations of being, you know, of SA allegations and things like that. I've already said that. But apparently, that 70s show act actress, Chrissy Bixler, exposes D 
Danny Masterson and Ashton Kutcher. I, 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 for the thumbnail, I believe she said that they're both, you know, R wordists. R wordists, you know what I'm saying? R rap, but not spelled, but not pronounced as rap. It's because there's an E at the end of the P. That that thing is. But yeah, we're gonna watch this video. We're gonna react to it. We're gonna see what's good, see what's great, see what's going on. No hate. And um, see if he, you know what I'm saying? What, what they had to say about this. Hi, my name is Danny Masterson. Would you like to touch my balls? <laughs> you know, no. doing an imitation of me. Because certain so words why you are you asking people with. to do that? That's the more important question. So why are you asking? <laughs> yeah, right, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Accent aside. Everybody should grab. That's the more important thing. Exactly. And he said, oh, I had sex with you last night. And I said, was I unconscious? Oh, shit. And he said, yeah. If you have been oh, following shit. up with the recent chaos really? on the internet, you know that just recently a judge has given a serious punishment to actor Danny Masterson, known for his role in that 70s show. He will spend at least 30 years in prison for sexually assaulting two women. At least a year? Only a that year? That 70s show was part of the church. He will spend at least 30 years in prison oh, for sexually assaulting two women. Okay, good, good. Disclaimer, the following content may be uh, con Masterson, may contain may contain elements of gossip, rumors, exaggeration, and indirect references, which may uh, deviate from the abuse uh, from the absolute truth. As a viewer, it is essential to approach this material with a critical mindset and exercise discernment. Blah 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 blah. This may, you know, what I'm saying it's take it with a grain of salt. Let's do that. Take it from Masterson, the grand who was part of the Church of Scientology, was the star on the popular TV show That 70s Show from 1998 to 2006. Why is it even a, uh, a mention that he's a part of, like, why is it, why does it matter that he's a, a part of the Church of Scientology? Why does his religious background matter? But anyway. The accusations of sexual misconduct against him started in 2017, leading to an investigation by the LAPD. In June 2020, he was officially charged with raping three women, including his ex-girlfriend at his home in Hollywood Hills between 2001 and 2003. All three women had connections to the Church of Scientology. In court, one of the women told Masterson, you are a terrible person, disturbed and extremely violent, as reported by the Associated Press. So everybody in the Church of Scientology is just fucking each other. And it's like, hey, some will agree with it. Some will be okay with it. Some won't. Some won't. Or, or he's just going around in, in his church and, you know, saying, doing that to, to uh, his fellow church members that don't want that ha to happen, that don't see him in that way, that don't agree with him in that viewpoint. You feel me? Last year, there was a situation where the jury couldn't agree on a verdict, which caused a mistrial. However, prosecutors decided to have another trial in May. During this retrial, they told the jurors that Masterson had drugged the woman's drinks, and they also claimed the church had tried to silence these women. The jury found him guilty of two counts of rape, but the they fuck? couldn't reach a decision on the accusation that he raped his girlfriend, whom he had been with for a long time. But that wasn't all of it. While all of this was happening, two of Danny's friends tried their best to keep him out of jail. It was Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis. Ashton wrote in his letter to Judge Charlene F. Omeldo that he first met Masterson in 1998 when he was just 20 years old. He described Masterson as an immediate friend, a dedicated colleague, and a role model for him over the past 25 years. Kutcher praised Masterson as an exceptionally honest and intentional person, emphasizing the hundreds of hours they spent working together and how Masterson had set a high standard for how to treat others. Kutcher also mentioned that they spent a lot of time together with their respective children, and he trusted Masterson to be alone with his own son and daughter. Kutcher acknowledged the guilty verdict on two counts of rape by force and fear, but hoped that his testimony about Masterson's character would be considered during sentencing. He believed that Masterson was not a continued threat to society and expressed concern about Masterson's daughter growing up without her father, which he saw as an additional injustice. In her letter to the judge, Mila Kunis shared 
her early impression of Masterson, saying she could sense his innate goodness and genuine nature when they first met. She described Masterson as an amazing friend, confidant, and most importantly, an outstanding older brother figure to her. Kunis vouched wholeheartedly for Masterson's exceptional character and the positive influence he had on her and those around him. She highlighted his commitment to a drug-free life and his genuine care for others, which she believed made him an outstanding role model and friend. I mean, I want to, I want to think that they may, you know, sent those letters in just not knowing what he actually did. I want to think that, but we know that he, that they knew what he was accused of. And I want to think that they sent those letters in because they, that's how they truly feel about him. And they're not just trying to help him out, help him get out of being sent to prison. I want to think that Hyde or Danny Masterson is actually a good guy and wasn't actually involved in these allegations and they're false. I want to think that, but you got to look at this. You got to look at the situation like, I mean, obviously, these women could be telling, are probably telling the truth. And it's like, you, bro, did you, did you really do all that? And if you did, then like, bye, nigga. Like, I don't. But they obviously got a lot of backlash for it. As of September 10th, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis issued an apology on their Instagram account. However, their apology came across as somewhat impersonal and mechanical. In their statement, they expressed regret. Also, the way they chose to appear in their apology uh, video, a lot of people were saying that they're trying to appeal to the everyday person, everyday man, everyday, everyday woman. Um, that they're, they're not trying to appeal as these stars, these rich people, these rich and famous people. That's why Ashton Kutcher is out here in a fucking white tee. They got a, they got a uh, plank wooden background behind them, a wood background behind them. Mila Kunis, no makeup, just just in like a long t-shirt. I just she, I just, she just woke up or some shit. Like that's why that's why you know what I'm saying people were like, yo, this ain't. Come on. Came across as somewhat impersonal and mechanical. In their statement, they expressed regret for any pain their support of Danny Masterson may have caused, noting that they had known him for a quarter of a century. These letters from Kutcher and Kunis expressed their support for Masterson's character despite the serious charges he faced, which has disappointed some people given the circumstances of the case. Things got so bad that Ashton Kutcher decided to step down from his position at Thorn, an organization he co-founded to combat child sex abuse. This mm. decision comes in the wake of criticism he received last week for writing letters of support in a controversial case. Additionally, Mina Kunis is also taking a step back from her role as an observer on the Thorn board, as reported by Time. But now, someone else has come forward to expose him. Chrissy Bixler, one of the victims of Danny Masterson and his former girlfriend, took to Instagram to share a video from the time when Ashton Kutcher hosted the prank show Punked. In the video, there's a clip where Kutcher is talking about Hilary Duff, who was 17 years old at the time. In the clip, Kutcher says, She's one of the girls that we're all waiting for to turn 18. Along with the Olsen twins. This video resurfaced amid oh, the back. That did not age well, bro. I'm sure back then when people when he said that, people were like, yeah! Woo! But uh it is still creepy. It didn't it did not age well. Like, uh, I mean, even though it's just one year, I get why he said why he said it. Why he, you know. Put it out there, even though it's just one year, or at least for the that one chick. I don't know how old the Olsen twins were, but that's questionable still. Uh, not not a great thing to say.
clash that Kutcher and Mila Kunis received for what some people considered a poorly received apology. In their statement, they claimed to support and believe victims, but faced criticism for the way they expressed their support. Additional clips from the past also came to light. One showed Kutcher and Kunis discussing their first on-screen kiss when Ashton was 19 and Mila was just 14. Masterson had apparently bet Kutcher $10 to share a French kiss with Kunis. Another clip featured Mila and Danny making promotional material for a show, during which- Real quick, that's just, if Hollywood is trying to put someone that's 19 and someone that's 14 together and make them, and have them kiss on screen, no, it, it's, it's, it's really no wonder why Ashton Kutcher may have, like, as he grew up, as he continued to grow up, grow up Thinking, thinking that it was okay to do things like that if he continued to do things like that. Obviously, this video is not about Ashton Kutcher, and there's no, like, allegations or anything like that that's, well, that I'm aware of that he did anything else like that. He probably thought it was weird at first. It was like, all right, well, if now that that's over, not do it again type of thing, which would be great if he actually thought like that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's a little weird, Hollywood. It's probably why people call you Holly weird. Don't do things like that. Thank you. Which Danny commented that Mila was hotter when she started. Huh. Chrissy Bixler also shared actress Christina Ricci's thoughts on the case. While Ricci didn't mention Danny directly, she highlighted that sometimes people we love and admire can do terrible things. These actions might not be directed at us personally, but it doesn't diminish the seriousness of what they've done. She emphasized that discrediting abuse victims is wrong. She adds, People we know as awesome guys can be predators and abusers. It's tough to accept, but we have to. If we say we support victims, women, children, men, boys, then we must be able to take this stance. While concluding with believe victims, it's not easy to come forward. It's not easy to get a conviction. Meanwhile, I can agree with that, believe victims, but people also also like to fake being victims. And that, that part, it makes it difficult to believe actual victims because you don't know if they're faking it or not, you know? Wilmer Valderrama, known for his role in that 70s show, didn't write a character letter Is for Danny fair? Masterson. He has also come under scrutiny due to his past behavior. An old interview he did with Howard Stern has resurfaced in which he That's discussed fair. and rated famous women he had been with. Valderrama has a history of dating younger women, including Mandy Moore when she was just 16 and he was 20. Oh. Moore later criticized him after he publicly claimed to have taken her virginity. Recently, Demi Lovato, another one of Valderrama's ex-girlfriends, spoke about her uncomfortable experiences in past. So it's not. So at least one, at least one other, more than one person was affected. I don't know if Hyde did anything with anything, anyone younger than 18, then at least more than one person was affected by the studio being like, it's okay for you to kiss this 14 year old girl, even though you're 19, Ashton Kutcher. It's okay for you to kiss this 14 year old girl on screen. They were at least more than one person was affected by that and, and kept that mindset going forward, it seems relationships with older men. She met Valderrama when she was 17, and he was 29, and they began dating when she turned 18. This has sparked discussions about age differences and power dynamics in such relationships, as well as the need for greater awareness and sensitivity around these issues. She doesn't need the Botox in her lips. Plus, fans and internet users have taken it upon themselves to delve into the archives of the internet and uncover various instances of his controversial behavior. Some examples include a video clip from 2004 where Masterson made jokes about exposing his genitals on Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Hi, my name is Danny Masterson. Would you like to touch my balls? <laughs> you know, you're doing an imitation of me. Because certain so words why are you, you just asking can't get people to do that? That's the more important question. I mean, you got them. <laughs> yeah, right, right. You know what I mean? Accent aside. Everybody should grab. That's the more important thing. Exactly. There's also a video of Masterson explaining how he came up with his DJ name, DJ Donkey Punch, in 2012. This name is associated <laughs> with a violent sexual act, raising concerns. So you sort of all come up with something that's kind of funny. Right. And and mine was DJ Donkey Punch. Additionally, there's a transcript that's of Masterson commenting on how though. hot his co-star Mila Kunis was when she joined that 70s show at the age of 14. Well, he was 22, which has drawn attention. 
New video clips have also emerged, shedding light on past interactions involving Ashton Kutcher, Mila Kunis, and their co-stars. In one video, Mila Kunis shared on Rosie O'Donnell's show in 2002, there was a bet made by Danny Masterson and Ashton Kutcher, with Kutcher, who was 19 at the time, being challenged to put his tongue in the mouth of 14-year-old Kunis during their first kiss scene. This revelation raised concerns about the dynamics of the situation. Another video featured Ashton Kutcher discussing his involvement in a promotional event where Mila Kunis sat on his lap. Kutcher made comments about how good it felt while physically touching her, which has raised eyebrows. In another clip, Kutcher, who has co-founded the nonprofit organization Thorn to combat child sexual abuse, was heard talking about his 15-year-old co-star, Hilary Duff, implying that people were eagerly anticipating her turning 18. These videos have sparked conversations about the appropriateness of such comments and actions, especially given given Kutcher's involvement in efforts to combat child sexual abuse. It looks like the entire cast of the show was super toxic and gradually their immoral behaviors are getting exposed. So what do you think? Comment down below and let us know. If you like this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video. I post updates like this every week where I uncover the secrets of your favorite celebrities. And if you want more deets, check out this video where Demi Moore sends a terrifying warning to Ashton Kutcher after he exposes Hollywood. I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Like, it's not, it's not, I mean, it's, eh. like, this man's really Favorite is, select. uh, were they all affected? Like, like, did Hollywood turn them this way or were they like this from the, from the jump? You know, they probably saw well, at least one of their co-stars being okay with it in a certain way. And then they all started to be okay with it. Like, the, like that became the norm and they were just chill with it. I mean, this show ran for a long ass time. You know what I'm saying? So, honestly, I think it would be hard to, ex it would be difficult for someone to escape corruption if all of that was going around you and you were around that shit for years. You know what I'm saying? So, but either, either way, it doesn't matter. You did this act. You need to go to jail, <laughs> right? Like, if the accusations on Danny Masterson are real, and he actually are worried by three different women, he needs to go to jail. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's unfortunate, but that's it. Like, bro, it's unfortunate that you thought it was okay to do that. But you need to go to jail. Like, fuck that shit. And um, so let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, especially about the whole Holly, Hollywood or Holly weird industry. Like, did they... Did their um, push for Ashton Kutcher to have that on-screen kiss with 14-year-old Mila Kunis when Ashton was 19, did that push for him to do that affect everybody else and now slowly affect everybody else? And now we have someone who was on the show, Hyde, uh, a.k.a. or whose, whose real name is Danny Masterson, begin to, to, to develop his own um, thoughts or actions and do those to other people while in Hollywood, while being an actor and stuff like that, and thinking that it was okay for him to do that, which obviously is not. So what do, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are, and you know what it is after that. Don't forget to do those three things, <gasps> excuse me, that i like to ask you to, and like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos. Yeah! And you know what it is after that? In case I don't see you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Peace and much love to you.